the present-day Philistines? This question, seemingly simple, opens up a world of discussion. It invites us to delve into the depths of history, then to resurface in the present day, tracing the evolution of this ancient term. In this video, we aim to do just that. We'll explore the origins, the modern context, and the impact of what we might call the modern Philistines. Stick around, and you might just discover that the Philistines are closer than you think. Meet the Philistines, a people of the past with a surprisingly modern twist. Originating from the Aegean region, the Philistines settled on the eastern Mediterranean coast, around present-day Gaza, during the 12th century BCE. They were part of the Sea Peoples, a term historians use to describe a confederation of seafaring raiders of the second millennium BCE. Now, the Philistines were not just ordinary settlers, they brought with them a sophisticated culture, advanced technology, and distinctive art styles that set them apart from their neighbors. They were known to be skilled craftsmen, producing beautiful pottery with intricate designs and vibrant colors. Their society was organized around five city-states, Gaza, Ashkelon, Ashdod, Ekron, and Gath. Each city-state had its own ruler, but they worked together in a confederation, demonstrating a level of political organization that was quite advanced for the time. The Philistines were also unique in their religious practices, worshipping a pantheon of gods and goddesses, with Dagon, the god of fertility and grain, at the top. Their religious rituals were rich and varied, often involving music, dance, and feasting. And let's not forget their warrior spirit. The Philistines were formidable opponents on the battlefield, known for their chariots and their distinctive feathered helmets. Remember the biblical story of David and Goliath? Well, Goliath was a Philistine giant, a testament to their reputation as fearsome warriors. But it wasn't all about war. The Philistines also valued education, with evidence of a written language and a well-educated elite. Their society was cosmopolitan, welcoming of foreigners and open to new ideas. So who were the Philistines? They were seafaring settlers, skilled craftsmen, organized politicians, devout worshippers, formidable warriors, and educated cosmopolitans. They were a people who embraced change, who valued both tradition and innovation, and who left a lasting impact on the region they called home. The Philistines were a unique group, but could they exist in our modern world? It's time to bring the Philistines into the 21st century. Let's imagine for a moment the Philistines in today's world. If we were to draw parallels, who would they be? The Philistines were known for their distinct culture, artistry, and technological advancements. They were a people who held their ground, unafraid to stand up to empires. They were a unique group, an amalgamation of different cultures, yet distinctly Philistine. In the modern world we see such qualities mirrored in various groups. Consider the tech industry, for instance. This space is brimming with innovation, much like the Philistines who were pioneers in ironworking. Tech companies are constantly pushing boundaries, creating revolutionary products, and challenging the status quo, undeterred by the giants in the field. They are a melting pot of cultures, ideas, and philosophies, yet they have carved out a unique identity for themselves. Let's consider another example, the art world. Artists, like the Philistines, are known for their creativity and distinct style. They often challenge societal norms and express their unique perspective through their work. Their art often reflects a blend of influences, yet it is distinctly their own. But it's not just about industry or profession, it's about attitudes too. The Philistines were a resilient people, unafraid to stand their ground. Today we see this spirit reflected in social activists, in communities standing up for their rights, in people challenging outdated norms and pushing for change. Remember, the Philistines were not just a historical people, they were a mindset, a way of life. And this mindset, this way of life is not bound by time or geography. It's alive and well, thriving in the hearts and minds of modern groups who echo the Philistines' spirit of resilience, innovation, and cultural fusion. So, as we traverse through the 21st century, let's not forget the lessons of the Philistines, their spirit of resilience, their embrace of diversity, and their relentless pursuit of innovation. Look around, the Philistines might be living next door. Now that we've brought the Philistines into the modern world, let's identify them. So, who are the modern Philistines? This is not about pointing fingers or naming names, but about recognizing patterns and traits that echo those of the ancient Philistines. Let's start with the most salient characteristic of the Philistines, their love for materialistic gains and disregard for intellectual pursuits. 
In today's world, we often see people so engrossed in the pursuit of wealth and physical comforts that they neglect the enrichment of their inner selves. They value possessions over knowledge, money over wisdom. This is a modern-day reflection of the ancient Philistine mindset. Next, consider the Philistines' resistance to change and their preference for the status quo. In our society, we see groups that resist progress or innovation, clinging to old ways and customs. They fear the unfamiliar and shun the new. This parallels the Philistines' aversion to the Israelites' innovative ways of life. Another trait that aligns with the Philistines is the lack of empathy or understanding for those who are different. The Philistines were known for their intolerance towards the Israelites. Today we see this mirrored in those who lack open-mindedness, who judge and reject others based on their race, religion, or cultural backgrounds. Lastly, the Philistines were known for their aggressive and warlike nature. In our present-day context, we see this reflected in those who resort to violence or aggression to assert their dominance, rather than engaging in peaceful dialogue or negotiation. These are but a few examples. The modern-day Philistines could be individuals, groups, or even whole societies that embody these traits. It's not about demonizing anyone, but about recognizing these patterns and understanding their implications. In conclusion, the Philistines are not just a people of the past, but a part of our present too. Their traits and behaviors are reflected in our modern society, reminding us of the importance of intellectual pursuit, empathy, tolerance, and peace. After all, history is not just about understanding the past, but also about learning from it to shape our present and future. The Philistines are here, but what does this mean for us? The impact of the modern Philistines is far-reaching, touching virtually every corner of our society, culture, and the world at large. Their influence is seen in the way we consume and interact with content and ideas, and even how we perceive value. In our society, modern Philistines often manifest as a force that values surface over substance. They may champion the shallow, the simple, and the easily digestible, sometimes at the expense of depth, complexity, and nuance. This can be seen in everything from our pop culture to our politics, where sound bites often reign supreme over thoughtful discourse. Culturally, the impact of the modern Philistines can be felt in the way we consume art and entertainment. The commercial success of a piece of work often takes precedence over its artistic merit, leading to a culture where the blockbuster is king and the indie gem is often overlooked. On a global scale, the modern Philistines influence how we interact with the world around us. The relentless pursuit of convenience and immediacy, often at the expense of sustainability and long-term thinking, is a hallmark of the modern Philistine mindset. But with understanding comes the potential for engagement. Recognizing the traits and tendencies of the modern Philistines can help us navigate our interactions with them. We can choose to challenge the superficiality, to delve deeper into the complex and nuanced, and to prioritize long-term sustainability over short-term gain. We can also seek to understand the motivations and fears that drive the modern Philistine mindset. By doing so, we might find common ground, foster dialogue, and perhaps even influence change. Remember, the modern Philistines are not necessarily our adversaries. They are a product of our times, shaped by the same forces that shape us all. Our challenge is to engage with them in ways that promote depth, complexity, and sustainability. The presence of the Philistines in our world is undeniable, but it's how we interact with them that truly matters. The Philistines are more than just a historical curiosity. We've journeyed together from the past to the present, unraveling the story of the Philistines. We've explored the historical background of the Philistines, shedding light on their fascinating origins and their powerful presence in the ancient world. In our modern context, we've identified the Philistines not as a specific group of people, but as a mindset, an attitude, and a way of life. We've seen how this Philistine spirit manifests in our society today, in the form of those who value material over intellectual pursuits, who prioritize personal gain over collective progress, and who choose ignorance over enlightenment. We've also discovered the impact of these modern Philistines, how their actions and attitudes shape our world, our culture, and our lives. The Philistine spirit, we've learned, is not bound by time or geography. It's a universal phenomenon that transcends borders and eras. The key takeaway from our exploration is this. The Philistines are not a relic of the past, confined to the pages of history. They are a part of our present. 
They exist in our societies, in our communities, and perhaps even within us. They are a reminder of the constant struggle between enlightenment and ignorance, between progress and stagnation. So, the next time you think of the Philistines, don't look to the past. Look around you, because the Philistines are us.